Tristan Tales, yo, wake up, it's Monday, and guess what? Tristan, the heart and soul of a cheater, Thompson, wants us to know that he's been mistreated and mishandled by Chloe and his baby's mama. Y'all, what am I talking about? Listen, Plan B spokesperson, or carcinary talent, depending how you see it, wants us to know he feels some type of way. Yo, you know Chloe has been spotted out with Trey Songs again, right? Pick it up the trash because Chloe don't know how to stop dumpster diving. That hit Tristan where it hurts because like every good cheater, he can literally do the lambada with everyone. He can populate half of North America. But Chloe better not look to the side. But y'all, it ain't over. He's also beefing with his baby's mom because guess what? He got to pay what for what he did. Now listen, let's get into the mess. But before we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Plus, if you up on reality TV, I did review Candy and the Gang and Love and Hair, Love and Marriage, Huntsville. It's a good time. Go ahead and check out these recaps. Now let's get into the mess, right? First of all, let's start off with Tristan. Listen, Tristan was busy posting his third trap, thirst traps. Cause now that Chloe has been allegedly linked to Trey Songs, he's single and ready to mingle. The gag is he was always single and ready to mingle. Anyway, he posted this mess talking about some feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. First of all, and this is all I want to say, Tristan is so lame and corny. How did Clo Money see this fool dressed like this? I know he's Jamaican, but we're going to let that go. Listen, don't drag me Jamaican tattletales, but you know what I'm talking about, right? This man, Tristan, is out here in the streets hiring photographers to take thirst traps of him, literally, and then posting corny sayings. I can't. I, I can't. still can't believe this man is the man that... Chloe let seduce her and tear apart her whole life. But let's get into this mess, right? Because there's other Instagram posts we got to talk about. He then went on the post, strong men live with purpose. Weak men tell others how to live. That's right, Tristan. You the last of the brave hearts, baby. Strong men live with purpose. Tristan's strong purpose is to, re is to um, what are you talking about? Habitate all of North America. Rehabitate it, right? I know I'm saying that word wrong. But literally, what is your purpose besides having unprotected sexual relations with random people putting your health and jeopardy at risk? and at the very least bringing other children in this world that you don't plan on taking care of now if you guys don't know this is also tristan and chloe's foreplay because every single time they break up they be back going back and forth but this is the one that did it he said they say good things take time that's why i'm always late right now when i read that i said another dumb s that tristan actually said let's just ignore it everybody but apparently he's getting a lot of backlash from his fans because they're saying that this is Tristan bragging about neglecting his newest child, right? Now let's get into what the papers say. Tristan wearing a large gold, a large gold necklace and a Supreme t-shirt paired with sunglasses in both casual images. He said, they say, they say good things take time. That's why I'm always late. Yeah, you and the period of every girl you messing with, Tristan. A things, everything comes late when it comes to Tristan. Can't stop procreating Thompson, right? Or some Noah's Ark, right? Now get this. This is Tristan's fans roasted him in his comment section, talking about some late with that child support. Another saying, "Oh, is that why child support's late?" Another one said, "Always late to pay your baby's mama's check." And then another one said always excuses to which i said marley get off this damn computer and go attend to theo because from what we see you just love dressing that baby up in a holiday themed onesie he just f finished um having his green saint patrick day onesie i know she gonna dress him up like a little bunny rabbit but it's good she's having trouble ha having uh fun with her new paycheck that forty thousand dollar a month bundle of joy listen i know it's a lot of us sitting here thinking like hmm and then we all say the same thing. Hell no. Because you literally are playing Russian roulette. Marley, you lucky you got a baby out of this and not something else that could have permanently deleted you from this earth. But let's go on because why are they saying late? Tristan is still playing around with Marley's child support. He is refusing to give her one penny to support that child. Now, I understand everybody in the comments being like, you don't need 40000 to raise a child. 
I digress. If it's my child, I need 80. Matter of fact, I need 120. Please get as much as you can to raise that baby, right? However, um, he, Marley has been complaining that he has done nothing to see the child and he has not given her a penny. Not 1,000, not 4,000, not 5,000. Now we can argue back and forth, but at the end of the day, Marley, she can't work right now. The baby's not even two months old. She has done zero. Now this is despite Tristan releasing public statements saying he looks forward to co-parenting the child and doing all this other stuff. Now if you don't know, Marley hit back in demand at 47,000 a month and 1 million in legal fees. You may be wondering, what is Tristan doing in all this? Everybody's looking at him as a stereotype, as a deadbeat. You now have three babies by three different women. You ain't doing right by any of them. And you're not even really, well, that's not true. You're saying tr uh, true. We don't know what's going on with Prince, but you haven't even seen this new baby that you bought into this world and you knew you were bringing into this world. What is Tristan doing? Is he is he having a moment of ir introspection? Is he on some type of retreat to get in touch? Oh, I'll tell you what Tristan's doing. Tristan is on the internet whining that Chloe Kardashian Dashian has moved on. He literally is put it, putting in his dumb quotes talking about he's insisting that he's been manhandled, right? By Chloe Kardashian. He put a message written on a white background, right? That meant this is in the stories that said, Your greatest test will be how you handle people. Who mishandle you? He ended that with a post with two secret emojis and a talking emoji. Listen. Let me tell y'all something. Chloe is a big dum-dum and she falls for this. This is out of the cheater. Listen, we all had girlfriends that literally, forget about a regular cheater, they dealt with cheaters from hell. The fact that this man cheated on her, publicly humiliated her, had a baby on her while they were engaged. And then when she fakes, like she's trying to move on with her life, you literally threaten her and say that you've been the one mistreated, y'all. And you know what the sad thing is? This is written and repeat. Chloe and Tristan gonna be back by Christmas. You know how I know? You know how I know? But some sources telling me that. Do you know what? And this is my guess, allegedly estimated, right? Don't need that Kardashian PR machine on me. Do you know how I know? Because Chloe, you ain't dating nobody to move on from Chris Tristan with. You dating Trey songs. You started spouted out with mystery men in Miami. You doing all this stuff. Tristan is the best one out of that whole pick a mix that you busy stunting on. Chloe gonna be back with this fool by Christmas, and it is so sad. But you know, at the end of the day, Chloe must have a humiliation kink. If she likes it, I love it. But y'all, the fact that this man has the audacity even be posting this mess to even saying he's the one that's being mistreated because chloe is trying to move on past his cheating butt and listen i don't like chloe either but goddamn you definitely got the right to leave tristan in the mud and step on his face on the way out anyway y'all let me know what you think about this do you believe tristan's gall i do what do we feel about him being a deadbeat dad it's funny but you know what? I'm not gonna bring Kanye into it. But it's funny through all this, Tristan still deserves to be a dad to True and all this other mess. And Kanye is basically somebody she'd be scared about. But at this point, Chloe was probably doing a rain dance, hoping she can get Tristan obsessed over her the way Kanye was up under Kim for the longest. Y'all, I'll talk to y'all later.